the classic rivalry. And we've got two characters who I feel like Veni uh, Venia's Greninja does a great job of encompassing what made Smash 4 so sound. A very combo-oriented character, created edge guarding where he needed to. Are and they fighting? They are. Okay. Yeah, they're fighting. Good Don't you love guys. when game one, like, everyone's flopping around, so it's like, is this a button trick? Mm? Anyways, uh, Venia, that old bay, and Frozen bringing that new hotness. Because... A lot of people weren't used to seeing Palutena going as deep as she is. She's a good character now. Yeah, definitely. Has a lot of movement to help her out. But Venia trying to go deep with that back air. Definitely been practicing a lot with this character. I mean, I think it was just like a very smooth transition for Venia to go from Smash 4 to this. Look at that. It just got nailed that kill. Yep. So solidly. I brought this up earlier where it's like, yeah, Venia might not know the specific intricacies of Ultimate Greninja, but the changes that Ultimate brings us are very movement oriented. And that's always been an aspect of play that Venia has prided himself on was his movement. Now he glides across the stage and always positions himself right where he wants to be to give his opponent how. I guess that short out back here. Ooh, we try to ready up with an up smash afterwards as well. Would have been cute. Yeah, Frozen trying to figure out how to, like, just space around Greninja. Because a lot of Palutena's spacing tools are really good. They're just not very fast. Auto Radical can't lock onto Greninja quick enough for it to really matter. And Explosive Flame, it takes a lot, a lot of time for that to come out. It's great for covering when it comes to the ledge guard, but... Not so much if you're trying to stop a speeding frog. And you know what? This is actually a great reason why Palutena loves the triplas. You saw him go for the warp cancels there to just try to mix up where he was going to land. To throw Venia a little bit off, give him a safe landing. That was going to DI a little bit to the right, which is why he went for that back air. But Venia sets him up with a down tilt. Both these players, he is going super deep for that Hydro Pump, trying to get the kill, pushes him off, and he is done. And that's the first time that we've seen Hydro Pump go for the Gimp kill. It's worth noting that it doesn't seem like it's... Um, Wind box is that strong. I've noticed this is that just in this match alone, Benny has gone for it a couple of times, and it hasn't really impacted work. <laughs> Frozen finally answering all this button pressing on Venia by just slamming him with the counter. And for those who aren't aware, the counter has also been rolled in with a reflector now. It's, it's kind of awkward, but hey, I guess it's cool to have all those tools wrapped into one button. Landing down with that forward air. Yeah, I think by the end of this game one, Frozen's going to have learned that he can only really use Explosive Flame when it's like super safe to use it. Otherwise, it's going to be curtains from real quick as game one falls into Venia's favor. Literally, that entire game was Venia landing down tilt after down tilt, and they just led into so many finishers that he just, like, he stole that game, honestly. Like, like Oh, Frozen, he took the money and ran. Yeah, he, he definitely did. If you see Frozen laughing about it, too, he's like, he doesn't really know... What's it really doing in this matchup? Because, like, again, this is a game very brand new. 74 characters to play with. Like, there's going to be matchups that you don't know on day five. Like, I'm, I'm, I guarantee you that. And uh, Venia might not know Palutena. And I know Frozen for a fact does not know Greninja in this game just yet. I mean, yeah, yes, there are, like, the hole they carry from Smash 4. But it's, uh, I'm interested to see how this game's going to evolve in, like, the next month. Yeah. Month one is going to be really interesting to see. Year one, just seeing what changes after that is going to be wild. Mm. Like, just just think of it this way. By February's time, we'll have our first DLC character. Yep, Piranha Plant. Plant. Is going to be playable, so we barely get three months before this game changes radically. And there also is a patch coming next week. I'm hoping it's nothing drastic because the game's too early for a patch, honestly. Oh, I yeah. hope it's just, like, bug fixes and, like, maybe the online. But, you know, like, there's... You know what I just realized? This is going to be the first time that the Smash community gets to see, like, detailed patch notes for a game. Because ARMS and Splatoon Hopefully. has been looking at this for a while. Hopefully. I'm just saying, if, if Smash breaks the trend of patch notes actually making sense... It'd be godlike, but here we go. Smashville. Look at that platform in there. It's only going to move for very temporarily. Yo, and people complain about the platform moving in there within the first... I like, love it. Yeah, the person on the right has advantage. Bet. <laughs> Let me move for during the 3 2 1 count. I will see if I can make use of that platform. Either way, platform sitting just in the middle as it is on Hazardless. 
I think is actually going to lend itself really well for, at the very least, for Frozen taking back control of the stage. I feel like that was his biggest issue in game one, was that the stage was just owned by Venia. Like, at no point was it ever really traded over to Frozen. He's even trying to, like, apply that counter off of the neutral air. Good retreating forward air from Venia. Trying to push him off to the stage. Now at this point, like he's doing, if anyone's doing a fantastic job of spacing out Frozen on the edge of the stage. You see him going for that down tilt and then going for the jump into a short hop forward air. Just to apply some pressure. Ooh. Gets smacked around with that shield. Yeah, I think uh, Frozen's gonna have to actually put a lot of use with that shield for this match if he wants to try and do anything safely. He went so deep for that neutral air. We got warps abound. He can just do those reps infinitely, too, if his uh, inputs are proper. Frozen, for, um, I'm sorry, Smashville is actually a hilarious stage for Palutena. Oh! And Frozen's doing exactly All what of that. respected. All of that was off of a parry, dog. Got the parry to the down tilt. I don't even care if any got that stock. Frozen got that game, He's dog. He's got a whole other one to play with. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, you can see there is a chance that Frozen could lose that stock very early. We saw him get gimped before. Oh, yeah. So the possibility is always there. Never count out the com comeback. Like, you're always losing this game until you're on the better end of the victory screen. That's just how it is. Forward air into dash tech. Got the combo going. The back air is a really good move to go for, too, because it's like she, like, extends her arm out a bit and allows her to, like, retreat. Not only that, but it also has invulnerability on the shield itself. So you actually can't do much to her during that end dash attack. And, you know, you don't see Frozen going for up smash too often, but when it does, that covers jumps. Dog. That covers double jump. It is a beam of light. I really hope yeah. it would cover if it's firing that far up. There you go. Just goes for the throw. We got a picture taken. Yo, oh, my that, man wanted a picture for a moment. That moment, dude. That Kodak moment. Make sure you get that throw caught. What the heck? He did it from <laughs> out deep. <laughs> Yo. That was a godlike explosive flame. <laughs> Completely caught him off guard. Watch this. Nuts. Why did Take he that. Take that. Take a little screenshot. I like it. I like it. Here we go. He was like, explosive flame. Bet. And then, because what happened is he knew that Venny was going to jump off and try to scare him and double jump back. Because that's like the classic. Everyone does that. If they don't want to commit, they just jump on and double jump back just to make, make them feel fearful. Yeah. And Frozen's like, nah, fam. You're dead because he did that. Through the explosive flame right behind him. And we're jumping into game three on Battlefield. Tri Plats abound. A phenomenal show of call outs from Frozen, showing that he knows very well of Venia's habits. But how well is that going to help him on a stage where he can't really move around as freely as he could on Smashville? We shall find out. I mean, Venia loves Battlefield. He, lo he loved it in Smash 4, and he loves it in this game. He gives him so much mobility to work with. He can jump around all the platforms, do some like run off platform back airs, forward airs. We got another parry coming out. But it, unfortunately for uh, Venia, that was on a multi hit. So if you parry a multi hit and it's still going, like it's you're just you're still gonna get hit by it. Yeah. Parries only give you a 14 frame advantage on the interaction, so it's like if your move is still chilling, it's still chilling. But I actually want to bring up how you talked about Battlefield being uh, a favorite stage for Venia. I feel like in Ultimate, it's going to be even better for Greninja just because you don't have these ultra-wide blast zones, but you still have a lot of space around the stage. This is space that Venia can use incredibly well for the sake of edge guarding, going out deep to secure his kills, or assume he's just on stage, he can get his kills a little bit earlier than he would be able to before, which is always a welcome addition. Speaking of his kills early, so he's gonna get that down tilt into an up smash. Venya closing out that first stock away from Frozen. And look at the way that he's moving. He's making. <laughs> he's moving right into the blast. Now. Forget I said out. anything. Why not? That's the spawn in throughout the random up smash because you know Venya's gonna jump like a frog that he is. He's always moving. He's always trying to stay awake, but like. Frozen's just aware of his antics, and he's doing a really good job of using Palutena's tools to at least force Venya to change things up. Venya coming in with that dash attack, pushing Frozen off. Out of jumps, trying to push him off with the Hydro Pump, but spawn just in time onto the stage. It seems that Hydro Pump doesn't push as much when they're in the middle of their up B now, which that's something that Venya was able to do so well in Smash 4, was pushing people as they started their recovery. Now it's like, gotta do it when they're in free fall. Not that Venia can't. We've already seen him get it done once, and I'm sure we'll see it innumerable times oh, as, yeah. uh, as this game develops. Oh, Khan with the water shuriken still living. 
Spike on the stage, safe and sound. Trying to hold that shield. Benny wanted that follow back for the dash tag so badly. <laughs> Yo, you know what I just realized? In this particular matchup about why Hydro Pump is like, especially not as useful for edge guarding the recovery. So, um, one thing that might not be as clear with Palutena's specials, as I did mention that a few of them got combined from Customs in Smash 4, is that her up B is actually two moves what they used to be. Not only is it the warp, but it's also a change to her movement in air drift, where she moves a lot faster once she's in that free fall, which helps uh, Palutena get herself back on stage. But most notably, it helps nullify a lot of the movement changes that the wind box from Hydro Pump presents. Wow, that counter was held for so long. Oh yeah, she just hides behind that shield, bro. It's safe back there. Why would you want to come out? So many efficient for those down tilts. The Trump try to go for the spike afterwards. Punishes the ledge attack with a forward smash. Final stocks. Loser this going home with the fourth place finish. Winner moves on to losers finals to face off against John Numbers. Oh, a little bit too close for that explosive flame to work. Maybe he's hoping that Benny was gonna dash dance backwards. Yeah. There's only so many times you can call out someone on the same habit before it just doesn't really work in your favor. But the percentage is still relatively low. Like Frozen can still tie this up. Venia can still run away with it. It's all about who's going to maintain this stage. And right now, this has been Frozen's battlefield. A very big change from what we saw in game one. Frozen's just been doing such a good job of forcing Venia off so that Frozen must have the stage control. And once he has it, the zoning game becomes a lot better because it's like, all right, I know you're coming in. So I'll funnel in my pressure as we go, and then just force you off of me the old fashioned. Oh, he rolled right behind him with that force smash, trying to follow up with that water shuriken. Dash attack. Ooh. Catches him with the explosive flame that actually killed Frozen coming out with Palutena. Moving on to losers of finals. Just kind of like sneaking in that explosive flame. It's very devastating. He was only at 113% from the middle of the stage. and. I did like 20 damage. Yeah, and the indicator for where it's going to appear is just <laughs> a tiny little sparkle. It's just like, I'm over here. Yeah, just 